Hello. Remember that box full of pot lights? You know, it had all these goopy things in them. It turns out they're mostly aluminum. Okay, I'm just wondering why it seemed like there's a whole lot of truck traffic. My bin left, by the way. You know, have to wait till later. Piece of cast aluminum on the end here. I don't know why. Not all of them had it. And I didn't realize it until one of them fell out. And I put the magnet to the thing and it stuck. But yeah. I don't know where it came from because it's not from the pot itself. And it was cut to make it fit, so obviously it wasn't added. I think these are homemade, to be honest with you. Cast aluminum, extruded aluminum, whatever you want to call it. Painted aluminum, because they are painted. They're going to pull them, you know. This has got a piece of furnace pipe in it. It's been taped. See, piece of furnace duct. That was on top. That's what that was cutting off. So that's just shred. So I don't have to try and remove all that tape. Lots of tape on here. There, put you in a different spot so you can see. It's just electrical tape. That's why I figured these are homemade. Then he had them all color coded. Probably let them know what light bulb was in what because they had Christmas colored bulbs too. I just got to find the beginning and they do unwind. Okay, there we go. Just stick it in here to help hold it. Yeah, I know, probably. I can't really throw this in the wood stove because by the time the tape is melted, the aluminum would be melted too. So I'm going old school here by unwrapping the way it was wrapped up. Obviously, he started at the top, right? Worked his way to the bottom. I don't know how much where I go for my stuff, my non fares how much he's going to ding me for these being painted. I do believe they are painted. It's almost like they're powder coated, these little pods. There. Electrical tape's off. Have a nice piece of I'm thinking extruded because it's it's the same way they make a pop can, a little little disc of aluminum, and then it's put into a tube and pressed, and that's all they do is just squeeze, and that's what comes out. Pop cans are made the same way, and it's all aluminum. So would that be a form of casting? No, because it wasn't melted into a mold. So that's not casting, right? So this would be pressed, so it would be under the category probably extruded because it pushed through to make the shape, right? Isn't that what extruding means? 
I don't know, I'm just guessing. This one I couldn't find the beginning of the tape, so and I think it's an older model. But this is how they look right at the beginning. You had a bracket to hold them up and I think the bracket's steel. Yeah, just a piece of galvanized. And I do believe these are maybe not totally homemade, but partly homemade. Like they, he probably added to them to make them longer. That's my thought. So there's a piece of cast in the top. It was cut. You had to cut it to fit it. I don't know why you could see in there. So I just popped that out. I just happened to be the one that fell out of. Otherwise I wouldn't have noticed that. But that's I'm thinking this is extruded too, because it looks similar. It's ribbed. It's designed to go in and not come out. So these pot lights are paying more. I get a lot of ex uh, strippable wire from it. I already put the ground wire away. Yes, I am keeping that separate. I've been stripping wire. I just don't know what to do with myself today. Kind of lost. My back is feeling the best it's felt in weeks. So I'm not pushing anything hard. Either the pills are working, the cream is working, or it's just time. I know. And I just pull it out. And this one was marked red. Not all of them had a light bulb in them. But they were those colored floodlights. I don't have a use for those at all. So, and they cost a lot of money to run. That's why nobody uses them anymore. I have LED spotlights on my back entrance. They work pretty darn good when they first came out. One store in Sarnia was selling them. Happened to be where my wife was working years ago. So I was able to get a set. I like them. They're tiny little bulbs, but they're just as bright as a 300 watt spotlight. And they only use like 30 watts of power, so. And of course, like all LED, right? You're supposed to get uh, 100,000 hours or something like that out of them. I'm sorry, but that don't happen. I bought them for in the house. Every light in my house has an LED, and I've had to replace a couple already. And they say they last so long. No, they don't. You can't say I'm rough on them because they're a light that's on the ceiling and you don't reach it, you know. I figure if I can get five years of them, that'd be a bonus already. And I'm thinking they've already paid paid my hydro back, so. And they were cheap, because I'm cheap. So they had to be cheap, right? <laughs> I couldn't wait for those. Well, actually, I could have because scrapping lately, people throw lamps out and the light bulbs are with it. And they are the LED ones. They still come across the regular incandescent ones. I have a pile of those. I bought, purchased a bunch before they uh, quit selling them. See, this is the one I fell out of. But anyways, you get the gist of it. This one was not extended. So. Okay, I'm here hearing a lot of trucks. Well, they are not in my yard. They must still be working next door then. <laughs> Like I said, they've been changing the hydro poles around here. 
Oh, I'm seeing. Oh, well. So I don't even know if I have to peel this stuff off. They're probably going to ding me for it being painted already anyways. And I thought, well, just in case, since I take the tape off, they might not, you know? Say, well, if you would have taken the tape off, I would have got it, given it to you. No, well, it's not an easy task. tape's got cuts all over it. That's why it doesn't want to come off very easy. Anyways, that's what I've been doing. Just playing in the garage. Temperature in here. I did a little quick video this morning there to show you what we got. Mother Nature decided we were too dirty looking, so she cleaned us up. Gave us some snow. It's 74 degrees Fahrenheit over here, which is 22C. For all you people that don't do Fahrenheit, I'm sorry. What's the old saying? Teach your dog a new trick, not this dog. This dog don't like that new metric system. Math used to be my best subject in school. But when they went and changed it on me, it's not my best subject. <coughs> What was that old saying? If your friends jumped off the bridge, would you jump off the bridge? Well, if your friends went metric, would you go metric? No! <laughs> How's that? I will not. I shall not. I don't want. But yet it's being forced down my throat because everything over here is going metric. I'm surprised they didn't come out with metric bills. You know? Instead of a $1 loony, Maybe that's why they came up with the loony and toony. That's the metric version. They did away with the penny. They were talking about doing away with the nickel. Well, they just do away with cash altogether. You know who it's going to hurt the most? Charities that beg at beer stores, liquor stores, variety stores, grocery stores, and malls. They stand out there begging for money to help support them. We can't. They got no money. Got no change. They'll probably start carrying those debit machines around and say, Whoa, you got debit. <laughs> right? I keep mad money in the house, in my truck. I think my wife keeps some in her car. Always got coin in there. I think you guys have seen that. I keep so much coin in the truck that the uh, ashtray was not big enough for the center console in my truck. It's just quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. Hey, what you need at the car wash? Quarters. Right? At least around here, anyways. Gone to a car wash, the hand ones, you know, where you do it by yourself with the power washer. We've gone to those many a times, and you bring paper money with you, and the machine, the change machine, doesn't work, so then you can't wash your car. So, and I don't like keeping change in my pocket, it's too heavy. Okay, I think I bored you long enough, you know what I'm doing. It is aluminum. It's 
too light for stainless. It's a perfect little pod. I think it may, maybe these are factory made and he just extended them his own way. Because it does have a square hole on this side to accept a carriage bolt, you know. It sits right in there and self taps. That's me in a nutshell. Stripping wire. I started a little bit at a time. That's it. Not much in there. We did, uh, this is what you get out of those big uh, appliance cords, right? It's braided wire. I do it by hand. I don't have no, you know, $400 stripper like everybody else. I haven't justified buying one yet. I asked my wife and she said, we'll get one if you want. And well, she knows me better than that. So unless she said, yes, get one, I probably won't buy one. She has to convince me. <laughs> okay. Getting long here. 16 minute video. Anyways, that's what I'm doing, playing in the garage. Heat's going, like I said. And uh, I'll just partner around. Have a nice day.